Angular, Angular 2 Plus or Angular 2, is a TypeScript-based open-source front-end web application platform led by the Angular team at Google and by a community of individuals and corporations. Angular is a complete rewrite from the same team that built AngularJS. Angular 2 was released in late 2016 and brought Angular into the modern web with its desktop and mobile applications. What is Angular 2 or Angular, just Angular? The new versions of Angular are now simply called, Angular. Angular 2 is a TypeScript-based, web application development platform that makes the switch from MVC, Model View Controller, to a components-based approach to web development. Angular 2 also offered a much cleaner component model. Interoperation with technologies such as web components was also a focus in Angular 2. Angular version 2, first announced in late 2014, finally released in late 2016, marks the beginning of a new platform, not merely a browser-bound framework. With Angular you can target browser, mobile, Ionic, desktop, Electron, and server-rendered, universal, apps. Why Angular 2? Angular 2 is high performance and it minimizes the load time of your pages. It is based on TypeScript. Improved mobile development and web development. It support for a component-based architecture and all browsers support. Improved data binding and dependency injection. What are the features of Angular 2? Improved dependency injection, DI. Annotation. Child injectors. Dynamic loading. Logging. Language service for templates. Screen activator. Instance scope. Component inheritance. View container. Access to Angular version. Explain component lifecycle in Angular 2. A component has a life cycle managed by Angular itself. Angular manages creation, rendering, data bound properties, etc. It also offers hooks that allow us to respond to key lifecycle events. Here is the complete lifecycle hook interface inventory. NG on changes, when an input binding value changes. NG on init, after the first NG on changes. NG do check, after every run of change detection. NG after content init, after component content initialized. NG after content checked, after every check of component content. NG after view init, after components views are initialized. NG after view checked, after every check of a component's views. NG on destroy, just before the component is destroyed. What are the core building blocks of Angular 2? These are the core building blocks of Angular 2. Modules which group or encapsulate functionality within the application. Components which represent a unified view plus view model plus styles unit that you can compose to create an application. Templates which represent a view with a special syntax to enhance HTML with Angular 2 functionality like data binding. Metadata that wires everything together, a view with a view model with styles, etc. Data binding to flow data changes between view and view model and vice versa. Services to encapsulate and reuse non-view related logic that can be used by different parts of an application. Directives dependency injection to inject the necessary dependencies for a given component, service at runtime and provide flexibility extensibility and testability to the framework and your application. What is TypeScript? TypeScript is a superset of JavaScript but like Java it allows us to define new types. Declaring variables with types rather than the generic var opens the door to new tooling support, which we will find to be a great productivity enhancer. TypeScript comes with a static code analyzer, and as we enter code in our TypeScript aware ID, WebStorm, IntelliJ IDEA, Visual Studio Code, Sublime Text, etc., we're guided by context-sensitive help suggesting the available methods in the object or types of the function argument. If we accidentally use an incorrect type, the ID will highlight the erroneous code. What is the use of TypeScript? TypeScript is a strict superset of ECMAScript 2015, which is itself a superset of ECMAScript 5, commonly referred to as JavaScript. As such, 
A JavaScript program is also a valid TypeScript program, and a TypeScript program can seamlessly consume JavaScript. What is Angular 2 Template? In Angular 2, a template is a HTML view that tells Angular 2 how to render your components in the views. The Angular 2 templates are very similar to Angular 1 but Angular 2 have some small syntactical changes. You can see the changes as below. It is used to rendering the HTML elements. It is used to binding properties. It is used to handling your events. It is used to data binding. It is used to asterisk operations like ng for equals hash item of items. Can you define Shadow DOM? Shadow DOM is a part of the HTML spec which allows developers to encapsulate their HTML markup, CSS styles and JavaScript. Shadow DOM, along with a few other technologies, gives developers the ability to build their own first class tags, web components and APIs just like the audio tag. Collectively. These new tags and APIs are referred to as web components. Shadow DOM provides better separation of concern along with lesser conflict of styles and scripts with other HTML DOM elements. Can you explain a ng module? A ng module is a decorator function. A decorator function allows users to mark something as Angular 2 thing, could be a module or component or something else and it enables you to provide additional data that determines how this Angular 2 thing will be processed, instantiated and used at the runtime. So, whenever user writes at ng module, it tells the Angular 2 module, what's going to be included and used in and using this module. How can we setting up Angular 2 application? Create an application folder. Create its config file, to configure the TypeScript compiler. Create the package.json file, to define the libraries and scripts we need. Create the typings.json file, that specifies a missing TypeScript type definition file. Install the libraries and typing files. Create the host web page. Normally index.html. Create the main.ts file, to bootstrap the Angular application with the root component. Can you explain services in Angular? Services are reusable function which include their properties used to perform some common functionality which can be used by different components instead of writing the same code again and again for different components a data service can be used by multiple components, via dependency injection. Can you explain event emitters and how it works in Angular 2? Angular 2 doesn't have bidirectional digest cycle, unlike Angular 1. In Angular 2, any change occurred in the component always gets propagated from the current component to all its children in hierarchy. If the change from one component needs to be reflected to any of its parent component in hierarchy, we can emit the event by using Event Emitter API. In short, Event Emitter is class defined in an Angular slash core module which can be used by components and directives to emit custom events. At output, Something changed equals new event emitter. We use something changed dot emit value method to emit the event. This is usually done in Sutter when the value is being changed in the class. This event emit can be subscribed by any component of the module by using subscribe method. My dot something changed dot subscribe val equals this dot my local method val. Can you explain components in Angular? Angular is based on components, as components are the logical piece of code, which consists of classes, template, and metadata. To say more simplistically components are used to bind model and template while also providing the logical part. Can you explain out compilation? In Angular 2, at, ahead of time, compilation, in which the Angular compiler compiles the Angular components and templates to native JavaScript and HTML during the build time. The compiled HTML and JavaScript is deployed to the web server so that the compilation and render time can be saved by the browser. Can you explain change detection? In Angular 2, change detection basically is the process of detecting the changes in the internal state of our application which might be caused due to events. XHR and timers and make it visible in the user interface.
change detection work on the principle of zone.js in Angular. Can you explain Bootstrap Array in Angular 2? In Angular 2, Bootstrap Array is used to inform AngularJS which components need to be loaded, so that its functionality can be accessed in the application. Can you explain routing in Angular 2? In Angular 2, routing is used to separate different parts of our app, generally by using the URL to denote our location. What limits the number of two-way binding attributes in Angular 2? Too many two-way binding attributes can cause performance concerns in application. Each data binding pushes an event in JavaScript event loop messages K, and pushing too many messages can block event loop and browser window. Can you explain dependency injection in Angular? In Angular 2 or 4, dependency injection gives us the ability to add functionality of a component at runtime. It also provides us a way to create a service that is a reusable piece of code, which can be used across our application to perform a particular function. Can you explain Angular 2 directives? The three types of directives in Angular 2 are attribute directives, structural directives, and components. Structural directives change the DOM layout by adding and removing DOM elements. Attribute directives change the appearance or behavior of an element. Component is used to break up the application into smaller components. Why are decorators used in Angular 2? Decorators are used as identifier of class or type of object that is being created in TypeScript. Angular 2 identifies class below decorator colors definition of class and extend decorator specific properties with class definition. Can you explain observables in Angular 2? In Angular 2, Observables are similar to promises but with major differences that make them better. Observables handle multiple values over time which makes them a good candidate for working with real-time data. Observables can also be cancelled and this gives a better control when working with inflow of values from a stream. Observables is an ES7 feature which means you need to make use of an external library to use it today. Subscribe to our channel, Interview Gig. Visit our website for more articles and interview questions and answers. www.interviewgig.com Leave a comment and like. Don't forget to click the subscribe button. Click the bell button for latest updates.